Hey, party people, I'm Rick. And I'm Sarah. It's my favorite time of year, and today is even better because we're celebrating the best birthday party ever! We're gonna play a birthday party game, and I can't wait. All right, then let's get started. Today, we get to try and crack open this pinata. Awesome. Each time we hit the pinata, we have to do a special challenge that we'll pull from this box. Are you ready, Rick? Let's do it. Hey, you know what? I went first last week. How about you go first this week? Oh, that's so nice, Rick. Thanks. Yeah, I'll go. We have in the box. Okay, let's see what it says. Ooh, this is a good one. It Ooh. says I get to hit the pinata with a lightsaber. Ooh. Should I turn this bad boy on? Turn it on. <laughs> that Three, two, one. That was Magic. awesome. All right, you ready? Let's do it. In the box is open. In the box. Let's see what we have here. Ooh. Ooh, a flippity flappity fish. Floppy fish. Oh, it's still alive! It looks like a real fish. Oh my goodness. That's really convincing. Ready? Here we go. Go for it. <laughs> Come on, fishy! You got this, Rick. Three, two, one! Didn't work. Let's do it again. That was pretty good. Are you ready to give another try? Yeah, I think I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Let's open the box. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see. Wrapping paper. Ooh. I'm ready. Here ready? we go. Here One, we go. Two, three. three. <laughs> All right, Rick, even though I hit the pinata all the way on the ground, it still didn't break. So I think you should take your shot. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. Box is ready. Into the box I go. There we are. Let's see what we have here. Ooh! Boxing glass. Yes. All right. Go, Rick. Go, Rick. Three, two, and one. Give me some. Yes. Good job. Thank you. Next round. Pool noodles. <laughs> Let's hit it. Hit it. I like the beat. I like the beat. Do you like the beat? Yes. Yes. Three, two, one. What, what is it? Ooh. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. I guess these are like jingle bell boxing gloves. Oh, I like <laughs> the way you think, Rick. All right, let's get go. it. <laughs> I tried. Good job, Rick. Thank Good you. Job. That was fun. That was fun. <laughs> I think this is the last one. Really? Yes, oh, indeed. Oh, I feel so special. I'm so excited. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. What is it? Oh. We got the real deal, the pinata stick. This is going to be our moment. This is the time. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Ah. Whoa. That's like a Ninja Turtle stick. <laughs> <right there. laughs> We got the pinata back up again, okay. and it's still going strong, everyone. Rick, since we're good friends, uh, would you like to do the honors? Really? Oh! Uh. What's that? Yeah. I'm doing it! Yeah. 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 This is the best mm. birthday ever. Yeah. Good job, Rick. Yes. Ah, I had so much fun with our birthday party game. Me too. And now it's time for Creation Corner, where we'll get a clue for today's Bible story. Check this out. Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to wrap a Christmas present and then open it up to see what's inside the box. First, we'll cut a square of wrapping paper with enough to cover all sides of the box. Then, we'll fold the top and bottom sides over and secure both with some tape. Finally, we'll put a bow on top like this. 
Awesome! Now let's open it up and see what's inside! Look! It's jingle bells and candy canes! This reminds me of our Bible story when the wise men brought presents to Jesus. Everyone, stand on your feet! It's time to jump into the Bible! Here we go! One, two, three, jump! Yeah. This is Jesus. Jesus is the Son of God who would grow up to do amazing things. His parents on earth were Mary Hi. and Joseph. Hey Jesus was born in a barn because there was no room for him anywhere else in Bethlehem. Bethlehem was part of Judea, an area that was ruled by a king named Herod. King Herod was in Jerusalem when some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Excuse me. Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose and we have come to worship him. When Herod heard that there was another king born in Judea, he was very upset. Ah. As was everyone else in Jerusalem. Yeah. Not you. So Herod called all the important priests and Jews together and asked them where this king was supposed to be born. The Jews knew that their king would eventually come and was always told to them that the king of the Jews, the savior of the world, would be born in Bethlehem. So they told that to King Herod. Then King Herod thought of a way to trick the wise men. Aha. So he called a private meeting with them and learned from them when the king of the Jews' star first appeared. Oh God! And then King Herod told the wise men, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child, and when you find him, come back and tell me, so that I can go and worship him too. Eh, okay. Hey, on your way. But secretly, Herod wanted to know where the king of the Jews was so he could get rid of him. So the wise men went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where Jesus was, and the wise men were filled with joy. Woohoo! They went into the house and saw Mary and Jesus. Hello! Oh, look! Wow! And they bowed down and worshipped Jesus. Wait! They gave him special gifts fit for the king that he was gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then God warned them in a dream to not go home through Jerusalem, where King Herod was, but God told them to go home a different way. So they did. And then an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up! The angel told Joseph to go to Egypt with Mary and Jesus because Herod was looking to kill Jesus. That very night, Joseph left for Egypt with Jesus and Mary. They stayed in Egypt until Herod was gone, and it was safe for them to go home to Israel. <laughs> when they returned, an angel warned them about the new ruler of Judea, who was Herod's son. This way. So Joseph and his family went to the region of Galilee and found their new home in the town of Nazareth. Look good? Yep. We're taking where Jesus would grow up and eventually do all the amazing things God had planned for him to do. I love that Bible story! Me too, Rick. And now it's time for Super Speed Trivia. Everyone stand up, put on your thinking caps, and get ready to show us what you remember from today's story. Super Speed Trivia! Was looking for Jesus? If you think the answer is wise men, clap your hands. Or if you think the answer is Joseph, stomp your feet. Joseph wasn't looking for Jesus. That's right, it was the wise men. What did King Herod think about Jesus being king? If you think the answer is he was upset, clap your hands. Or if you think the answer is, he was happy, stomp your feet. King Herod wasn't happy. That's right, 
King Herod was upset because he wanted to be the only king. What did the wise men follow to find Jesus? If you think the answer is a compass, clap your hands. Or if you think the answer is a star, stomp your feet. The wise men didn't follow a compass. That's right, the wise men followed a star. Awesome job, everyone. You can sit down now. Jesus was born in a barn in Bethlehem. Jesus would grow up to teach so many cool things, do miracles, and be the savior of the world. And that's why we celebrate Christmas, because it's Jesus' birthday. You know, I think we should keep this party going by shouting out our big idea as loud as we can. All right, so on the count of three, everyone, let's shout, Happy Birthday, Jesus. Ready? One, two, three. Happy Birthday, Jesus! You know, I say we keep this party going with a Birthday party, dance party. Hey, DJ, drop that beat. Yeah, 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 yeah.